Shelly recently unveiled their new motion sensor that they've been working on alongside Silicon Labs, and it really is the first in its class for this type of device. But is there a reason that this device has never been made before? And what exactly makes it different to all of the other motion sensors currently on the market? In this review of the Shelly motion sensor, we're going to be taking a look at the full set of features it has to offer, as well as the performance. Full transparency, as always, I bought and paid for this motion sensor myself. This unit was not provided by Shelly. There are a few things that make this sensor pretty unique, and the first one being that it is Wi-Fi rather than the usual Zigbee, Z-Wave or RF. And before you all furiously rush to the comments to tell me the battery life will only last one week, that's actually where their partnership with Silicon Labs comes in, who designed an extremely low power Wi-Fi modem that actually makes this type of device possible, and they claim over one year of battery from its 6,500 milliamp rechargeable battery. It also has 256 levels of adjustable motion sensitivity, so you can really dial it in to suit your environment. It also includes a light sensor and a tamper detection sensor, and just like all of their other Shelly products, it can work completely offline with no internet access. It has a local API, a web server, and MQTT support, as well as support for and finally, it comes in at 40 euros or 40 US dollars, which is about 32 pounds at the time of filming. Inside the box, you'll find the Shelly Motion, a quick start guide, some hardware for mounting, and finally a bracket, which allows some level of tilting. The first thing you'll notice when you take this out of the box is just how heavy and dense it is. It's a really hefty sensor, not only in terms of weight, but also size when compared to some of the Zigbee sensors out there. Although it's not quite as big as some of the RF sensors sitting somewhere in the middle. The included mounting bracket allows you to tilt the sensor in order to get the best angle, and it just snaps on pretty much with zero effort. I do wish there was more tilt on the angle because it doesn't really move that much, but at least it's better than no movement at all. It will also stand up by itself if you just want to sit it on a table or something like that, but it does fall over quite easily. It's not the most sturdy. On the bottom, you'll find a micro USB for recharging the battery. It would have been nice to see USB Type-C here, but I do understand that there is additional cost for that connector. Speaking of the battery, Shelly is claiming over one year of battery life from this sensor, and that's based on an average of six hours of motion per day. And given the fact that it is Wi-Fi and it does have an included rechargeable battery as well as those other sensors, I'm more than okay with that battery life. Even if it was six months or nine months, I'd be more than happy with that battery life personally. Setup is pretty straightforward using the Shelly app. Using a pin which is actually included in the box, press the little button on the bottom left of the micro USB port for 10 seconds and it will begin to flash. Connect your phone to the motion sensors hotspot and open the Shelly app to complete the process. Pretty simple stuff and you should have no issues with the setup process. On the topic of the Shelly app though, I did find it a little bit clunky with some UI elements appearing in strange places or overlapping each other and some other minor little issues. All very minor and hopefully they can fix these with future updates. Once the motion sensor has been added to the app, you can assign it to different rooms and if you have other Shelly devices, you can use their built-in rules to add some simple automations to trigger other Shelly devices such as lights or sockets. Because it does have that built-in light sensor, you can configure certain motion detection events to only happen when it's dark or light, for example. Shelly allows you to configure the points at which it classes to be light or dark, which is pretty useful. Although one weird thing I did find that is if you're using the app, there is no way to tell the current lux value. And this seems like a bit of an oversight because it's useful if you thought, hmm, this seems like a good light level to switch over from light to dark, but there is no way inside the app to tell the current lux value. The way you can do it is if you use the IP address of the Shelly Motion, put that into your browser, and the lux level is displayed right at the top. Like I say, it's a bit of an oversight, and hopefully this is something that can be added in a future software update for the app. Shelly, if you're watching this, please add it. Speaking of the light sensor, is it actually usable? Well, 
Yes, at least in my testing so far, it seems to be way more reliable than my Akara motion sensors that also have an included light sensor. They seem to not fluctuate light levels rapidly like the Akara ones do, and most importantly, they actually check in in a reliable time period. For those of you curious, I found that the sensor seems to check in every 30 to 60 seconds to update its light level when there is no motion. The light level will also be updated when a motion event is detected and also when the motion event ends. This is very good. It means you can actually rely on this sensor to turn your lights on. The other sensor this guy has is a tamper detection sensor which is also customizable with 128 levels of sensitivity and when you trigger it it kind of flashes all these different colors. I'm not sure how useful that is, but hey, it's a neat little trick. All of these customizations are able to be set in the app, where you can select the sensitivity for all the sensors, you can configure how many motion events from one to four before motion is reported, the motion blind time from one minute to five minutes, the operating mode, configure motion schedules, which lights to turn on with motion events, and how long to keep them on. You can also configure which devices are connected to the Shelly cloud so that you can control which devices are available when you're away from home. I really like that they don't force you into using the cloud and also provide local APIs for all of their devices. The level of granularity is really refreshing. One thing I would like to see is the ability to lower the motion blind time from the lowest one minute even down to like 10 seconds. I understand why they've done this obviously to reduce the battery consumption but it would be good if we could lower it more even if there was a little message telling us that battery consumption would be higher than normal. Speaking of the motion sensor let's finally get into the motion sensor performance. Shelly is claiming that it takes less than 200 milliseconds for the Shelly motion to wake up, respond and trigger another device. And I have no way of actually verifying that claim, but I can tell you as someone that is extremely sensitive to delays, especially when it comes to lighting, I am more than happy with the response time from the Shelly Motion. Having the 256 levels of sensitivity is an excellent addition and you can really dial in the settings to whatever you need them for your environment. Now, even though the minimum blind time is one minute, like I said, it does still seem to detect motion even during the cooldown period because the cooldown will actually reset to 60 seconds if you trigger motion and also the motion light comes on on the front. So it does seem that the hardware is capable of detecting less than that um, it seems to be about every three seconds or so. It seems to be a software limitation. The motion sensor is able to trigger any Shelly light through the app. And you can trigger lights based on different events such as motion when it's bright, motion when it's twilight, motion when it's dark, or any motion. And you can select how long to leave lights on for after motion has stopped. Because this is also a security device, you can configure alarm zones in the Shelly app that when they're armed, you can receive push notifications to your phone to alert you of motion. But what if you want to integrate this motion sensor with other third-party devices? Well, like I mentioned earlier, Shelly has made this really easy by making this device available locally and also has a local web server and a local API, as well as MQTT support. Be aware that if you do want to use this device to trigger an MQTT light or work with MQTT, I did have a slight but noticeable delay when triggering lights via MQTT compared to the native Shelly app. It still works great, but it's just something to be aware of. There is also a native Home Assistant integration, which immediately automatically detected the Shelly motion, but it only ever seemed to update its values every two hours. However, this is a very new product, and so give it a bit of time and I'm sure this will be resolved. If you're an ALEXA user, you'll find that you can integrate the motion sensor very easily with no issues and it works very well in your routines. It's just the motion sensor aspect that is supported for now so you don't get the tamper detection and you don't get the light sensor, but perhaps they can be added in the future. If you're a Google Home user, unfortunately you are out of luck at the moment, but I do believe that this is a problem on the Google side rather than the Shelly side. Shelly have came out and said that they will add support for Google Home as soon as Google will allow them to do so. In terms of reaction speed for all the integrations, the native Shelly app is the fastest response time 
as you would expect, with ALEXA coming in second with a very respectable response time. And finally in third is MQTT with a bit slow of a reaction time for my liking, but you might find it a little bit more acceptable for your usage. Finally, we come to the apparent elephant in the room, and that's the price. At £32 or $40 per sensor, on the surface at least, it would seem to be quite a steep price to pay for a motion sensor. However, the more I thought about it, the more it kind of started to make sense. Not only are you getting a highly customizable motion sensor, but you're also getting a light sensor that actually works, and you're also getting a tamper detection sensor too, all for a very similar price to the Philips Hue motion sensor, which again also has an included light sensor. However, unlike the Philips Hue and other similar sensors, because it's Wi-Fi, there is no additional hub required, and so there is a little bit of savings to be had there, and it also has rechargeable batteries. Obviously, the cost of these savings will start to negate the more sensors you buy. In addition, you're also getting lots of local control. And we also have to remember that this is essentially a market first for this type of device. There are no other devices, at least that I can find, that can claim to be truly Wi-Fi with all of these features, with local control, with a one year's claimed battery, and be hitting this price point. And so the research and development that goes into making a device that no one else is making in order to keep pushing the market forward is obviously going to impact on the cost of the device. So should you buy the Shelly Motion? I think if you're in the market for a device like this that ticks all of these boxes and the price of entry isn't too high a barrier for you, then this is an excellent device and it's definitely one you should consider. But what do you guys think about the Shelly Motion? Did you like it? Are you planning on getting one or was the price just a little bit too high for you? Please do let me know in the comments box down below. Whilst you're down there, make sure to hit that like button and get subscribed if you aren't already. And if you want to consider supporting the channel, you can become a patron on Patreon and your support allows me to buy hardware to make these videos. Thank you to all my current Patreon supporters. I very much appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Pshaw.